Hey guys, my name's Joe. You're watching Jamily TV. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting that subscribe button down that way. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back to watch some more. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually record. I'm gonna try and get into Miss Samoa pageant right now, and uh, we'll see. When I went to Samoa, I came to Samoa on a mission. Education is my background, so I not only wanted to get out into the community and help, but I also wanted to serve out people in any way that I could, so being able to have the car thanks to that. In my own personal opinion, some of the values or one of the values that I think such a car and the rest of the world is the significance that they hold in their mastery. I think that majority of strong households here in Sama are built from strong women in the Strong women in the into strong families. Strong families and into strong organizations, strong churches and strong communities which all contribute to a greater sum of the nation. This Viva has been a great ambassador to our country. And for that, we wish to thank you, Sonia, especially your mother and father, and your sisters and brothers. Thank you. We you know that we will miss you, and we will never forget your contribution to Samoa. On behalf of coming to Samoa, I also thank you. May I come on side? Show you more. And my mayor is the best. For all the connections. The minister will catch you. And without further ado, 
Et de ce que ma qualité de pression, ce que je veux dire, c'est que ça m'a perdu. Officially open. And let the project begin.
Dele o Samoa. O lo ingoa, o fetui, gay, no fosa o tui tui, e lua sultasio tosana. Ma o lo lamo lamo ina ma lo siau, in a Miss Samoa New South Wales organization. O Samoa apio ana o Samoa, si utu sana ilua, no fasto uta. And tonight, I am your contestant number one.
Decorated with chicken feathers and dry pandanus love fala leaves. The shades of brown symbolize her humble upbringing as a Tamaitak Samoa, while the yellow signifies her tenderness and goodness in carrying herself as the Fianaina. Her Victorian inspired gown represents foreign influence in Samoa's traditional wear and designs. The second layer represents the significance of feathers and decorating a Tamai Tai's outfit for cultural and special occasions. The red leula represents pride in promoting our culture, our identity to the world. The red feathers work together in The red wraparound and flared below the knees symbolizes the richness of our Pasa Amor, our heritage, our bloodline, and the love that unites us. The inside of Chopanga's two-piece attire is made of dried shells, siapo, water pearls, and anthacinic. The top piece illustrates designs of the manu tattoo of a Tamaktai Samoa. The bottom piece signifies the fins of a fish, how a tapo sways gracefully with confidence, moving elegantly with poise. The whole attire displays modern fashion, knitted with creativity. Her headdress is made from shells. Her Rula Nifo and Nifo Oti completes her life as an entertainer greeting our people. The shell decorated belt has three lots of diamond shaped patterns to align with the shell decorated train of her gown. Her gown train has three large rows of diamond shells that are anchored to a shell stuff in the center of the train. This particular pattern is a portrait of the three pinnacles of our human race, which are healthy mind, healthy body, and healthy soul, anchored to the temple of God. Our unique bodies. Miss Sapo Australia's hair flower is made from Siapo, molded into a leaf design. She is wearing a necklace made up of white showers to complement her traditional attire. Miss Sapo Australia strongly believes in persistent traditions, embracing creativity and celebrating unity. Tonight is not a dream but a reality. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Samoa Australia's gown was designed by Mrs. Petty Etevise Topete Kwaite of Brisbane, Australia.
Please welcome contestant number five, Miss Samoa Victoria. Woo! Zariah presents her traditionally inspired attire in evening gown titled Groove is in the Heart. Zariah pays tribute to Samoa's status as the heart of Polynesia through the patterns at the top and the back of her dress, combining one of our Messina, the Iatoma with the dynamic colors of Samoa's spectacular flowers and environment. The top of her traditional wear is a strapless hat in the shape of a heart, which has been lovingly stitched with a range of colors and lines to form a psychedelic effect, inviting you all to reflect on the rich lineage and beauty of our people. Purple, the color of royalty. Blue, the color of Ramoana. Orange, for the bird of paradise. Pink and red to represent the national flowers of Samoa, the Tilbila. The yellow for the life-giving sun. The green of our rainforest and all the shades in between. These colors come together at the bottom of the outfit in crisscrossing rainbow ribbons to highlight the interconnectedness of our environment, genealogy, and culture. The hypnotizing diamond design in the center of her garment represents Samoa as one of the jewels of the Pacific, with patterns that flow outward to the expansive train and bottom, highlighting Samoa's transnational reach, which now encompasses a formidable diaspora community abroad. Her stunning hairpiece, made also of Yatoma, lined with multiple colors and aha, crowns the creation and adds a modern touch to a spectacular gown. Miss Samoa Victoria invites you all to dance to the groovy beat of all of our Samoan hearts as we celebrate our nation, country, and people, the heart and cradle of Polynesia. Designed and constructed by V. Cecile Lois Thompson of V. Cecile Bridal Couture. Please welcome contestant number six, Miss Araway Couture. Susan's inspiration for her attire tonight is the origin of the Taka Tatami, or tattoo in Samoa. Tales told of the journey of the two sisters who swam across the vast ocean, carrying a bag of tools called the Atoahu. Tonight, Susan parades the catwalk as the Atoahu herself, in celebration of this piece of art that has made Samoa world-renowned. The Atoahu carries the equipment for tattooing, which consists of the Atoahu tattooing sticks, and Lama Black Ink. As Susan unravels that tomorrow, she showcases the four of the different time that are featured in her garments. Baalta, Altafu, Altosi, and Altil. Baal has carried on her back her depiction of God's Wrapping around her sound is a black, intricate, yet sophisticated masterpiece, which is a depiction of the The ink symbolizes the mind for the art of tattooing in itself. The bearer of the pens and symbols for a mind which tells the many stories of our culture, our heritage, our way of life, our far Samoa. Susan's attire is not only a celebration of this cultural piece of art, but also a reminder that our cultural identity is an extension of our Atalipa. To the world outside from the everyday meeting, Tom Kalaba with a smile. A coconut shells and seashells. Each of these represents her love for her country, her culture, language, customs, and the true values of being a loyal Tamatak Samoa. Her respect for the land and ocean God has blessed our homeland with and how to preserve and protect it for future generations. Her message is to preserve and keep alive the significance of her Samoan culture, values, and customs that go far beyond any issue book that we learn and show For so many of us born or raised down in our motherland Samoa, our real Samoa culture is dying. It's not the Samoa related materials or jewelry that we wear which define us, but it's the art and beauty of our culture that lies within our values, God, family, and respect. Letitia's stunning and elegant attire is proudly sponsored.
sponsored by Zorita Carrera and Family. Designed and put together by the talent Alicia Dion of Hema. Everyone deserves to have a home to come home to. Now for one final look at our contestants and their traditionally inspired wear, please welcome them back on stage.